My name is Lynn Ray and I'm a sexual health physician who's spent most of her working life working in women's health and uh, in, with sexually transmissible diseases. Well, the main reason for that is that the HPV test, which is the initial test that's done on every woman who presents, whether she's an asymptomatic patient or a woman with symptoms having screening, is more sensitive and more specific than the old liquid-based cytology or pap smear reading of cells on a slide. So it was always known that there would be more women being giving positive results for either uh, with HPV positivity plus or minus abnormal cells than with just the old pap smear alone. And in fact, the change has been from a bit, a bit under 1% of women under the old uh, cervical cytology program needed to have a uh, colposcopy. And now it's about 2.8% of women need to have a colposcopy with the HPV plus or minus cytology um, abnormality. Well, the importance of the colposcopy is that it's actually a diagnostic test. For um, the HPV test or the old pap smear where they looked at cells on the slide, they're what we call screening tests. So they're a test of um, a wide population looking to see if there are any positive results. But they don't tell us what's happening on the whole of the cervix. The um, HPV test tells us that there is viral DNA there. The abnormal cells on a slide tells us that in the sample of the cells that was taken, there were some abnormal ones. But we really need to look at your whole cervix to determine what's actually going on. I think the first thing is that um, obviously it will depend on what the exact report says, but with the new National Cervical Screening Program, many women will be asked to have a colposcopy because they have a positive HPV or human papilloma virus test and their actual cells are normal. So that under the old screening program, they would have been told to go away for two years. And the reason for that is the old program was very accurate if you had your regular follow-up. One screening test wasn't enough, but once you'd had two or three of them, it was becoming more accurate. The HPV test is accurate on the first screening. It tells us that there is some HPV there and we need to see whether or not it's causing any significant change on a cervix. I think because this is a new program that only commenced in December 2017 and because the national uh, body that set up the guidelines for safety with this program wanted to make sure that no one fell through the cracks and ideally no one was missed with a diagnosis of potential early cancer, the current guidelines are quite conservative but we're collecting lots and lots of data and it's very likely that once we have five years or more of data, we may be able to modify the frequency that women have colposcopies. The area that's most concerned at the moment is that HPV 16 and 18 we know cause 75% of cervical cancers. So women should definitely have a colposcopy if those are found. The not 16, 18 group is a group of viruses that do cause cervical cancer but less frequently. But that's the important thing, they do cause cervical cancer. So if your result is not 16-18, you still need to have a proper follow-up.